I'm Emma Mastengale. I'm a professional horse trainer. Okay, so we're now going to look at bargy horses and I think my um, best piece of advice I could give you is to try and exchange this kind of halter. Um, it's a very nice halter and very comfortable for our horse, but it is exactly that, it's very comfortable. And when our horses are pulling on the halter or, or barging it out of the way, we need to have something that helps us to be effective with them. And we're going to use a, a halter, it's just a ordinary rope halter, it doesn't pull tight anywhere, doesn't cause the horse any pain, but it is um, positioned on the head in a way that gives you control and by the fact it is thinner than this one, you'll naturally have more control with youngsters and horses that like to barge and pull us along. Also we're using a 12 foot rope or a long rope so that we've got a little bit more control should something happen and we need that extra bit of length. Now this rope is actually weighted here so that it actually encourages the horse to lower his head which gives us the chance to have a little bit more control. So that's why I'm going to use this halter rather than this halter for my bargy horses. Okay, so this is a 17-2 stallion so obviously I don't want him to learn to be bargy and although he's very polite he is that way because I use this halter and my techniques of teaching our horses to stay with us when we're walking so if I'm walking, I want him to walk to maintain a softness. This is the trust going down the rope here. So I'm going to leave him and when I stop, I expect him to stop. Now if he doesn't, I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure on the halter and ask him to back away from me. When he backs away, I'm going to release the pressure, tell him he's a good boy and walk on again. What I don't want is for my horse to ever bump into the end of the halter. I want him to feel my energy. So if I stop, I want him to stop. That, get, that way he is staying with me regardless of the halter. The halter is my backup. For bargy horses that really like to pull you along, you'll find this halter just makes that a little bit uncomfortable because of the way it's positioned over the nose. It isn't going to pull tight or hurt him, but it does make it a little bit uncomfortable should they want to pull. Also with any horse that likes to barge or pull you along, I think backing up is the key. Get your horse backing up really well, either off the halter here, back, back, or by applying pressure to their chest. Horses that barge are thinking forward. They're not thinking about their feet in a backwards or a yielding way. And by teaching them to back up, we stop the bracing, the two feet coming together that's pushing them and fundamentally pulling us along. So that's what I would do with a horse that's bargy.